five, Ukraine. Referee. Oh, there is Lavino Luca Tistarelli. Argentina. 18 years of age. Part of a 15 strong Italian boxing team. Seven men and eight women. We've got judges from Croatia, Kyrgyzstan, Singapore, the United States of America, and Ukraine seated around the boxing ring to score this one. Here's his opponent, Madi Amirov from Kazakhstan. Kazakh boxer, 17 years of age. Excuse me, 18 years of age. It was his birthday earlier this month. Round one. So we're underway then. 91 kilogram heavyweight action between boxers from Italy and Kazakhstan. The boxer wearing red is Luca Tistarelli. Tistarelli, the 18 year old. Facing off against a fellow 18 year old. That is the boxer in blue who comes in with continental credentials, having claimed. Asian bronze in the junior boxing championships back in 2019. Here we are at the youth level, almost immediately. Running repairs required to the head guard of the boxer in red. Repeated right hand success for Amirov. Oh, and then he turns through a half hook, half uppercut with the left hand, which caught Tistarelli on his chin. Tistarelli with a right-hand success, catching the advancing boxer in blue. Good use of the feet to close the distance and land that right hand from Amirov. Nice left jab landed by Tistarelli. Right hand turned underneath before a right hand crashes over the top from Amirov. And Tistarelli, well, he's in real trouble here. And that's because he's having repeated difficulties with his head guard. Second time in the round that he's had to go back to the corner to get it adjusted. So the action resumes as we approach the midpoint. Right hand targeted once again by Amirov. Testarelli being backed up behind a long left hand. Being pushed out from Amirov. The referee from Argentina. Talking to Amirov about not heeding instructions. Both boxers looking to establish their lead left jabs. Far more movement coming from the boxer in blue. Circling around, generally to his left, circling around Tistarelli. Could be walking on to the right hand of the boxer in red, but he's edging in and out as well, closing and increasing the distance between he and his opponent. Tistarelli attempting to go to the body there, bringing some variety to his work, and he's done that once again. Because previously, on about the preceding five or six attempts, it was an attempt to left-right to the head of the man in blue, and the two men were just cancelling one another out. But again, persisting with that combination is Amirov, and his, he did have success with it. Oh, beautiful right hand, followed by a left from Amirov. It was a 
one, two, three, left, right, left combination. But that could well be the final admonishment before a warning is issued in the direction of Amirov. Not listening to instructions during the course of the opening round. So, 10 is in favor of the man in blue for four of the judges, one of them to the tune of 10-8. Tistarelli taking it. For one of the observers here ringside. Second round. Into the second round, then. Tistarelli did demonstrate the ability to go to the body during the first three minutes. That's exactly what Amirov did on that occasion, spearing in a straight right cross. Tistarelli just falling short as he's reaching on his shots. And that's because, look at the movement of Amirov. 91 kilogram heavyweight, but he's able to glide around the boxing ring. Oh, and he lands a cracking right hand as he's stepping in and follows it up with a snaking left jab. There's a left jab in response from Tistarelli, but it's a left-right combination from Amirov. First and third boxing from the man in blue. Starting and concluding the exchange. Nice movement on the retreat after landing a right hand to the body and then a right hand upstairs landed by Amirov, who is boxing wonderfully through the opening minutes of this second round. Hard right hand. Oh, and he slapped with that right hand, but it landed with plenty of force. And he's really having success with that backhand now, showing plenty of variety with it as Amirov. He's going to the body, he's turning it around the corner, he's driving it through straight. And Tistarelli, well, he's looking for that left hand lead to set up his own offense, but he's being measured now. Left hook followed after the right hand was telegraphed. Left hook was a successful shot from Emirov. The right hand was off the mark. It was easily evaded. Good shots to the body from Tistarelli. Tistarelli looking for that right hand over the top, but it was blocked before he was able to fully extend. Three-shot combination was short of the mark by Tistarelli. Nice right hand to the body, left hook upstairs, landed by the man in blue, and then hands down by his belt line, now moving left and right, showing another facet to his game, and Amirov really warming into this one, presenting a different look, completely bamboozling the man in red, and that left-right combination just seemed to drain his energy levels. Fairly collapsed into his own man, sagged at the waist, and altogether a more... Less, he's a less crisp figure now, and look at the increasing effect that the shots are having. Right hand to the body, continuing to take it out of Tistarelli. And Amirov sensing that he's in complete control and looking to assert his dominance further. Right hand once again causes Tistarelli to sway. Gamely, he bites down on his gum shield and tries to come back with his own offense. But Amirov really warming into this one as we progress through the second round, taking it out of Tistarelli who went through a torrid three minutes, particularly in the final half of that second round. And there's confirmation as to just how dominant it was. 10-8 for two of the five scoring judges. And remember, in Aiba boxing, that doesn't necessarily mean that you've put your man on the floor. It just means that you are a clear winner. And I don't think there's any doubt that Amirov was a clear winner in that second three-minute frame, boxing beautifully, changing his look, changing his tempo, but the end result was the same, putting Tistarelli onto the end of punches. He's in a commanding position on the scorecards as we prepare for the third and final round. Second round, please.
Round three. So Amirov with his familiar war cry. As we begin the third and final round, Tistarelli appearing more energetic after that minute's intermission. Interestingly, he elects to remain standing up just as the 1968 Olympic heavyweight champion George Foreman did on his return to boxing after that 10-year hiatus. After he lost to Jimmy Young in San Juan, Puerto Rico, stepped away from the boxing ring. When he returned as an altogether more rotund, shaven-headed figure, he wouldn't sit down in between rounds. And of course, he completed that remarkable return to the ring by claiming the heavyweight championship of the world for the second time in his 40s. Like so many all-time great boxers, the world first getting a glimpse of them in the unpaid code of Aiba-style boxing. George Foreman's coming out party in Mexico City at Olympic Games in 1968. So who knows which of these will go on to achieve similar legendary status during the course of their boxing careers. All of these athletes, the men and women here, still teenagers, so much promise to be fulfilled. But make no mistake, they're competitive individuals as well, and they want nothing more than to earn a podium place on the global stage here in Kielce 2021. Tistarelli just trying to do something to get himself back into this contest, backed up during the course of that exchange, a right hand sending him tottering backwards. He's really feeling the pace here, breathing through an open mouth, but his determination palpable from here ringside, edging his way forwards now, but he put on the end of another right hand. Sustained an injured nose now has Tistarelli. Mirov still up on his toes. Oh, beautiful left-right combination once again. Turns an uppercut underneath, does the man in blue. Hitting on the break, break from Amirov. A nice move defensively from Amirov, dipping beneath the attempted shot of Tistarelli, whose gas tank is draining rapidly here. But his competitive spirit keeping him upright, keeping him punching in his bid to overturn the deficit that he faces. Closing seconds of the third and final round, short of something calamitous befalling Amirov. Well, it looks as though it's going to be he who will go through as a unanimous points decision victor through to the second preliminary round of the heavyweight division. What a terrific performance by Madi Amirov. The boxer from Kazakhstan came in with those continental credentials under his belt. And my goodness, didn't he demonstrate why he stood on the podium at the continental level of competition in the Asian Championships. Very good display indeed in the second round in particular. And with that insurance in the bag, he just continued to control the distance, control the tempo. Credit must be given to Luca Tistarelli. But he met a man who does, knows just too much for him at this respective stage of their careers. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Amirov Madi, Kazakhstan. So, Madi Amirov. A Kazakh boxer with a beautiful display of boxing. Showed so many sides to his game during the course of that three, three-minute round bout. He goes through to the next round. And we'll see him on the 17th of April. We will face off against the man from Jordan who has had a bye through to the round of 16. That's how he did it. Dominant display from the Kazakh boxer, Luka Tistarelli, unable to advance. And the Azuri representative.